What's up everybody? It's Frank from 5am Ramen and today is all about Aomori Ramen. We're in Aomori City and you can see the view from my hotel here. Aomori City is the biggest city in Aomori Prefecture, the northern tip of Honshu. Now Aomori is known for apples, for its beautiful scenery, but also for ramen, Aomori Ramen. From the local favorite style, which is a niboshi or dried fish ramen, to miso curry milk ramen, you heard that right. Let's see what Aomori ramen is all about. We're diving into the best ramen shops that Aomori City has to offer, starting now. For those new to this channel, 5 a.m. ramen is all things ramen bringing you firsthand the very best ramen info from Japan. I'm Frank, I grew up in Japan and basically eat ramen for a living. As mentioned, I'm in Aomori City now, which is Aomori Prefecture's capital and largest city. It's easy to get here from Tokyo. The Shinkansen or bullet train takes you directly to Aomori City. Besides the apples and majestic scenery that I mentioned earlier, Aomori is also famous for its big Nebuta Festival. In Aomori City, there's a museum right next to Aomori Station dedicated to this festival and its impressive, brightly colored floats. Anyways, back to the task at hand, Aomori City Ramen. Let's get back to me at the hotel, gearing up for my first ramen bowl. So the first ramen shop I'm visiting for the day is Asari. Basically, they serve a super spicy ramen with a whole lot of negi or spring onions. Normally, I wouldn't start with the spiciest ramen to start the day, but it made the most sense in terms of my route. I'm told that this place is super local, loved by locals, and run by an elderly couple. Bowl number one, spicy negi ramen. Let's go. Asari is slightly on the outskirts of Aomori City. Once in, I order their negi ramen, or ramen with spring onions. The staff ask me if it's my first time there, and answering yes, the owner explains to me the customizable spice level. I go for half level, which is apparently quite spicy. I can tell you, it definitely was spicy. This bowl definitely woke me up. Okay, I just finished the bowl. You can see my lips are a little bit redder than normal. Definitely a spicy bowl, spicier than I was thinking it would be. It was delicious though. I think at the spice level I got, which was nibun no ichi, or basically half level, I think, with their system, it was still very spicy. I think most people around me were getting a one-fourth or yonbun no ichi. And this was again quite spicy. I'm still feeling the effects. I was sweating a lot in there. I felt that like, okay, you know, in Japan, like normally spicy is not as spicy as say Thailand or Korea, but this place, they don't mess around. It was definitely spicier than I was expecting. And because of that, I couldn't taste more of the elements in the broth. All I just felt was the spice taking over my body, grabbing the tissues frantically. But it was nice to have those big chunks of negi or spring onions in there. They added a little bit of sweetness to the broth, which was already quite sweet. It was kind of sweet and syrupy in a chili oil way but those negi or spring onions added to that. And I really liked picking up those big chunks of negi alongside the noodles. They also had big blocks of chashu pork, a little bit on the tougher side, um, quite peppery. They were almost like logs in a fire, but in short, a hearty, hearty meal. I can totally understand why locals love this place. A little bit concerned, the portions were very big um, about the next bowls I'll be eating throughout the day, but great way to start. I'm happy I started with a local place, and hopefully by the time I make it to the next ramen shop, my lips are no longer ruby red. Another spot for spicy ramen is Niboshi Chuka Senmonten Tsuji Seimenjo. They're more in the center of Aomori City. Let's just call them Tsuji for short. They're known for their Niboshi or dried sardine ramen, which people here in Aomori absolutely love. There's the signature Niboshi ramen, but if you're craving spicy, they have a unique habanero pepper niboshi ramen. It's an interesting ramen experience. You have the bitterness from the niboshi dried sardines in the background, but with the habanero spice really lighting things up. On to the next bowls. For reference, I'm getting around Aomori City by car. There are trains here, but it is easier when you've got a car. And the second ramen shop that I'm visiting is Chuka Soba Hirakoya. 
This is actually the highest ranked ramen shop in all of Aomori city and all of Aomori prefecture. They do a niboshi or dried fish ramen. And this is the most famous style of ramen up here in Aomori. Now I'm gonna be sampling two styles, essentially one light and one on the heavier side. Really excited, top place again in Aomori. Let's do this. And here they are, one light and one heavy. In the heavier one, pork bones give it an extra punch. Again, these are the top ranked bowls in all of Aomori, the whole prefecture. All of the ingredients they use are high quality, including the katakuchi niboshi dried sardines. Oh, and they make their unique fat noodles in-house as well. Okay, so just wrapped up at Chuka Soba Hirakuya. Had two bowls. The first one was a lighter or assari niboshi ramen. What they use is a nama shoyu or kijoyu, which is basically like a pure soy sauce. And it's a little bit harder to bottle and it doesn't include any preservatives or alcohol inside. And what it created was a very clear, pure flavor. And even though the niboshi or dried fish flavor was there, it was more of an aftertaste. Outside of that, it really tasted like the sort of uh, soup stock or dashi that you would see in say soba or udon, very light. And another reason why I was kind of reminded of udon was those noodles. They were relatively thick, not quite as thick as udon, also slippery and they didn't have a lot of kansui or alkaline mineral water in them so they didn't have that particular bite kind of like a hybrid maybe between ramen and udon now as to the koi or thicker and more intense niboshi ramen this one definitely packed more of a fish punch however even though the niboshi flavor was very strong in this one it didn't really hit you over the head it was still a very gentle and refined flavor Toppings are pretty standard. You've got negi, also chashu, kind of in between tough and soft. But what stood out to me was the memma or the bamboo shoots in a knot. These are actually marinated in the niboshi soup. So you had a little bit of that fish flavor in the memma. Between the two bowls, what do you want? Light or the thicker, more intense flavor? Let me know in the comments below. Great bowls. I'm happy that I got to visit this place, which again is at the top of the Aomori ramen rankings chart. Another place that does Niboshi ramen justice is Kudo Ramen. They're more centrally located in Aomori city. They have a history going back to 1948 with the shop currently run by the third generation owner. This is pretty much the most classic ramen in this video. Powered by a salty and slightly sweet soy sauce, the soup is clear. The niboshi that they use are from nearby Taira Date, and these are combined with local shamrock or shamoroku, breed chickens. The niboshi dried sardine flavor is quite light in this one. Super affordable bowl, starting with a sampling size at 100 yen. Insane. Okay, and now for the next bowl, a real doozy. This is the miso curry milk. You heard that right. Miso curry milk and with butter ramen that Aomori is also known for. A crazy bowl and a must do in Aomori. Ajino Sapporo Onishi is in the middle of Aomori city. Easy to get to. They got their start around the 1970s. Apparently, the idea of miso curry milk ramen came from the owner, who is originally from Sapporo Hokkaido, miso ramen country, and also middle school and high school students. I feel like if I was in middle school, that's something I would want. All the things I love coming together, miso curry and milk. Just so you know, they use white miso for the seasoning in the soup. For toppings, you've got memma bamboo shoots, wakame seaweed, chashu pork, and butter, of course. As zany or even unusual as this ramen is, it's recognized as a major Aomori ramen. They even have this style in instant ramen form. So I just finished the big bowl at Sapporo no Aji Onishi. And it's pretty much everything you would expect in a curry miso milk ramen. It tasted like a more mellow curry that was on the creamier side. You don't get as much of the miso flavor, or I guess you could say you can smell the miso, but what you taste is mostly the curry. But of course, you get those rich creamy undertones coming from the milk and also the butter adding to that. And it felt like a Sapporo miso ramen as well. You had those thick wavy noodles, bright yellow in color, and of course the miso flavor, even though it was a little bit more subdued, and the toppings that were there also, going back to the butter that's normally in Sapporo miso ramen, the bean sprouts that were stir fried, everything felt like Sapporo miso ramen, 
but with that curry and more milkier twist. It was a lot of fun to eat. So in summary, a milkier curry miso ramen that's very filling and very hearty. So that was the best of Aomori City Ramen. From the three ramen restaurants, which one do you want to eat the most? We first had the spicy negi ramen, then followed by both the light and the heavier niboshi or dried fish ramen, which is an Aomori staple. And then last but not least, we had the curry miso milk ramen. Let me know which one you want to dive into the most. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. This is Frank from 5am Ramen signing out and reminding you that Tokyo is the only city in the world where you can have delicious ramen at 5am. Except we're in Aomori, so Aomori too. Thanks for watching.